Girls who are born poor often stay poor. For many, this is because they are steered into the lowest paid work, which offers no prospects. Living in poverty and managing household bills on a limited budget can be extremely difficult, and some women lack the skills to do this. This is particularly true for the girls who live independently from a young age or have no family support. They can get trapped on benefits or have to move a number of times between low paid work and benefits. The energy, creativity, skills and talents of millions of women are not being used. This has to be wrong. I just basically felt useless. Um, I didn't think I'd ever get a good job. Um, University, I just thought there's no way I'd be able to get into uni, I just thought I'm not clever enough. I didn't really try that hard at school because I just thought, what's the point, I'm not going to get good grades anyway. No, there's an income just for myself, for job seekers allowance, so they're saying to me I need to get a job. But um, more my focus, it's a barrier what I suppose I can't get over. It made me feel useless because I, I got really good A-levels, I was really proud of my results and I've always done well at school and I've never felt that I didn't have the skills to work, but it took me so long to find a job, um, it made me start to feel like I wasn't good enough, like I, I've been to so many people's advice on how to improve my CV, etc, and I was doing everything that professionals were telling me to do, but no one ever called me back, no one ever really helped me, and it just made me feel horrible. We think there should be some single sex classes and support groups which tackle gender stereotypes and help girls to achieve where they are struggling. We run informal education and personal development programmes in our friendly women only venues. When they are not judged or threatened but instead feel safe and encouraged, women are keen to try new things and they learn to aspire to much more. We teach English language, maths, parenting, money management, healthy living, sex education, active citizenship and life skills. For example, our Wise Up programme is for the most socially excluded service users. It builds their confidence, helps girls and women to speak out, become active citizens and take part in all kinds of activities. I want to go to university or do youth work. We've done different things like we're doing body awareness course, a mini course which is certified, um, do arts and craft things, it's just somewhere to relax really. It's an achievement. It feels like you're only yeah. just scored, you're getting like a certificate. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you feel proud of yourself, don't you? Yeah. Your achievement. You've got something to show for it at the end of the week, like, I haven't functioned very well in the past, so this is like a new beginning, starting all these new courses. The centre's gone out me, do we? I'm going to get me my courses that I need and we will do coursework. We run programmes from our 15 women only centres which are in some of the most deprived areas of England and Wales. We also work in schools, community centres, youth clubs, mother and baby units and prisons and online. Anywhere in fact where we can make a difference. Please donate now and help them build their self-confidence and look forward to a better future. Your gift will be used to help the many thousands of vulnerable girls and women we work with who are victims of sexism, neglect, violence or abuse or who suffer from poor mental health.